Dewan, Dewan came up to you and helped you up. Can you just talk about how he's always willing to come up and pick up a guy when he needs a hand? Like this, like this past week, I think it was yesterday or two days. Actually, it was yesterday. Uh, at media, and I talked about how he's a players coach. Um, that's just the definition of players coach right there. Uh, he, you know what I mean? He came over there and helped me up uh, quicker than all my other teammates. Uh, it just shows that he's engaged and that he wants uh, me to get up as fast as I can, you know what I mean, and be there for me. So, you know what I mean? That was, that was great to have that. Um, and a quick follow-up, looking ahead to Ohio State and playing the fourth-ranked team in the country on the road, how are you guys feeling heading into that matchup? Uh, you know what I mean? We're always a confident group. Uh, obviously, we have to um, clean up some things from this game. Um, you know what I mean? We have a two day, yeah, two days to pick up um, and learn um, some Ohio State's tendencies and things like that. Uh, but, you know what I mean? We're a competitive group. Um, so I'm ready and excited for that um, challenge. Andrew Khan. Yeah, Mike, I know, you know, this game just ended, but yeah, I mean, the, you know, two top five teams, is, is that the kind of game that, you know, maybe swayed you towards coming to a school like Michigan? For sure. Uh, it's prime time. You know I mean? You live for these days um, and these games. Uh, it's going to be, um, you know I mean, a championship caliber game for sure. Um, I mean, you work so hard to play in these games. Um, it's prime time. It's going to be fun. You know I mean? I'm really excited for this. Thanks. Oh, Ryan say. Hey, hey, Mike. Um, as the season draws to a close, a regular season at least, are, are you guys aware of your place in the Big Ten standings and, and the way that race is shaping up right now? Uh, I think we're just playing. Um, obviously, uh, some people do know, um, but I think that's uh, at least of our worries right now. I think uh, just taking one game at a time um, is what's important to us. Uh, you don't want to, you know, I mean, think too much of far ahead of how many games we have to win. Uh, you know, I mean, just win that one game. And that for sure will help us um, achieve what we want. And, and then to follow up, this is your guys' second game after returning from the break. How would you compare to what you guys are playing right now to before that pause? Say that again? How, how would you guys compare the way you're playing right now to the way you're playing before the two week pause? Uh, I think um, we have to just pick up on some, uh, some little things that we have to clean up. Um, but I still think we're playing well. Um, you know what I mean? You can't win in the Big Ten not playing well. Um, each and every day. Um, but I think obviously we have to clean up some things and I think uh, we'll be back for sure until um, as high as we've been playing uh, before the break or the pause. Clayton Safety. Hey Mike, uh, Franz had a great game obviously. What specifically do you think was working for him and you know, what'd you see from your view? Uh, everything, uh, that, that kid is elite. Um, you know I mean? I'm lucky to be able to play with him. You know what I mean? And it's, uh, he works tremendously hard every day. Um, and it shows out there. Uh, and, you know, I mean, he's 6'9", 6'10", can dribble, can shoot, um, you know, I mean, and defend. That's that's what's important. He gets stops. Um, but he played well um, on the ball, off the ball. So it was a great game for him. Danny Cap. Hey, Mike, uh, second half, you guys go five and a half minutes without scoring. Uh, they're not able to cut it into single digits. It's kind of the, the genesis of having that target on your back, getting everyone's best effort, um, so to speak. Can you kind of put into words what it meant to be able to, to come out of that stretch and still have control of the game? I think that's uh, we contributed to that. It's our defense. Uh, we take pride in our defense. Um, you know what I mean? Obviously, um, when the ball is not going in, if you can get a stop, you know what I mean? Who, who cares um, if we're up? At the time, if we're up, it doesn't matter. If we keep getting stops, um, the game's going to end with us on top. Um, so, obviously, we, we want to score. Um, but, you know, I mean, sometimes just, just the ball won't go in. Um, but if we get stops, it'll be fine. Brandon Quinn. Mike, to kind of build with that, how have you seen this team's uh, kind of defensive identity evolve over the course of this year? Uh, it's, it's, it, it, uh, well, from the beginning, it was uh, a little rocky. Um, you know what I mean? We have bits and pieces of people playing defense. Um, but, um, you know what I mean? Now I think everybody's bought in. Uh, we see a lot of blocks. Um, you don't see that too much in college. Um, but a lot of a lot of us are, well, not me, but a lot of everybody else is challenging shots uh, and play defense to try to get that stop and uh, rebound the ball. So it's, been, it's involved uh, from the beginning. Um, and I think it's going to keep getting better um, because at the end of the day, if you want to win a championship, you have to play defense. 